My tutorial for this collaboration is uh, how I paint orc armor, all chipped up and dented and dinged. And to do this, we're gonna be using chipping fluid, which is uh, a really fun and quick and easy way of doing it. Uh, it makes a big change from how you would normally paint with acrylic paints, so which is quite fun. So let's get into it. So first things first, we're gonna prime our model in black, and then we're gonna come in with Vallejo Game Air Red Terracotta. This is gonna be a nice rusty color, um, which is a good base coat for what we're gonna be chipping down through to. Then we're gonna use Games Workshop Lead Belcher, and we're gonna just dry brush this all over the model, so we've got this kind of mix of this rusty red and uh, silver metallic showing through. Once that's done, we can then start applying our chipping fluid. I'm gonna show you how to use it with an airbrush or a brush. It's just this clear fluid. Um, you put it onto the model and then you just have to wait for it to dry. The longer it dries for, the less chippy it will be. So that's just something to bear in mind when you're working with this. But you do need it to dry fully. I want to make this piece of armor black, so we're using Model Air Black and spraying over the top. Now once that's dry, you can see it's already started to crack in some places uh, where the water from the um, from the paint has uh, activated it. But to activate the chipping fluid, you just come in with some standard water, nothing special, straight out of the tap, and just apply it to the area that you want to chip. This will then activate the chipping fluid, and you can come in with something abrasive, so you could use like some tweezers here for example and just lightly scratch it and it will pull away the top layer of paint and down to the paint underneath. And you can do this over the whole model, uh, use a variety of different tools, so for example you can use a, a little drill bit or you could use an abrasive brush or anything really and you can just go across the whole model, do little bits at a time. If you want to do it really quickly you could just wet the whole model with a big brush and give it a good screw across the whole thing. Um, that would make some really big scratches or maybe like completely worn away armor. So this video is part of a collaboration for October. Um, it was put together by Dana Howell. If you don't know Dana Howell, she's an amazing mini painter and YouTuber. She's actually one of the first people that I watched when I was looking to get into the hobby on YouTube and uh, her video on airbrush glazing on the night haunts or her um, vapor grave uh, night haunts are amazing and also the uh, brush glazing on the squigs um, if you've followed me for a while you've probably seen that i've done some orange and blue squigs and the main inspiration for those was dana the other people in the collaboration are ali McAllister, sugar candy miniatures annie green gable and the salty sea and they all put out amazing content uh, all doing different things for October. I'll put links to all these people in the description below. Um, and I'd yeah, really appreciate it if you can go check them out. And I just want to say a big thank you to Dana for uh, inviting me to take part in this. It's been a great experience working with other people. It's the first collaboration I've done. Um, I re really wasn't uh, expecting to get that message from Dana. It's, um, you know, it's absolutely out of the blue and I'm really, really appreciated. So thank you, Dana. And thank you to the uh, the other collaborators. It's been really great working with you. And there we have it. So now we're going to use a brush. Um, so I've painted up these teeth uh, in lead belcher, and we should take the heavy chipping fluid and we're going to use a synthetic brush because it's not very nice on your fancy uh, sable brushes um, and we're going to just apply it straight from the pot onto those teeth it doesn't really matter if it goes over onto any areas that you've already painted uh, it'll dry completely clear and flat anyway so it's not going to make any difference then we're going to wait for it to fully dry and then we're going to use my fist on red and just paint the, uh, the teeth directly with that. Now that that's dry, 
again, same method. We're going to come in with some water. Um, I've used this little scraggly brush here. Uh, you can use tweezers, you can use brush, just to like scratch away. And that'll chip down through into the layer underneath. And you can see it just makes this nice chipped up armor effect. You can then use that on the whole model, so all the armor plates, and it ends up looking something like this, which isn't too bad. But if you want to take this a step further, you could then go and watch one of my videos on weathering for Grimdark and apply those methods and you'll end up with something like this.